Television Dude here, and I have a package in the mail. But first, I'll show you this. I got this at a thrift store for $2. Thinkers, More Brain, Ticklers, number two. And it's got things like this. You have to figure them out. I guess this one up here would be a uh, backpack because it's pack backwards. That would be too close for comfort. Things like that. This is pretty cool. This is my kind of stuff. There's even different things in here too. That is pretty cool. Now this is puzzle related. I'm addicted to buying puzzles now. I just haven't found any good video games in a while, but I'm really now addicted to buying puzzles. Not even sure how well I can solve some of these, but they're pretty cool. There's three of them in here. Now I'll show you this one first. This one's just a plain old pyraminx. Kind of loose. Well it, well, it felt loose on the ends. I might just need to be tensioned. I don't know if this is an official, like Mefferts or somebody else's pyraminx or just a knockoff. Doesn't really matter because that's not what I bought this package for. Now, this is a crazy one. Because not only does it just uh, turn in different odd directions, it's a shape-shifting one. Uh, let's see if I can't get it shape-shifting. Whoa, jeez. Now how am I supposed to solve that now? That is pretty wicked. I'll be messing with that for a while. Uh, what was the name of this one? I, I looked it up and uh, it, it had different names. Well, I got the shape right. <laughs> and finally, and this is official as well. This is a Gear Pyraminx Mefferts. Now I don't, pr I probably can't do this guy's name justice, so I'll just call him Teamer. Uh, I know I'm not going to pronounce his last name correct. Now I did hear that the first batch of these had a problem and they would stick. And I think this is one of them because it's sticking right there. And this might, yeah, that, possibly, just possibly, this might be a, a first batcher. Now, there is a mod to fix that I learned online, and it's going to be somewhat of a pain in the butt, because uh, to fix it, I'm going to have to, at uh, one side a piece, take the stickers off the end pieces just to get inside. And that's not easy because you might rip them and replace them with some uh, screws. It's a pretty wicked toy though. Or puzzle, I don't want to call it a toy, that's, that's insulting. I've already got it so messed up. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, replace uh, some screws and, and uh, put some washers on the inside, according to someone's tutorial video. I, w I want to see if I can get it in its original shape, at least. Back to the way it was. It takes a lot of turning to get back to where you were need to be. And I've kind of got it stuck now.
This guy is pretty much a genius who makes these puzzles. This Timor guy. I'm subscribed to him on YouTube. He's one of the new names in the puzzle making business. He got lucky enough to have some of his puzzles uh, mass produced by Mefferts. I'm just goofing around for a minute. This puzzle probably takes a lot of patience and a lot of uh, figuring out. Hopefully I haven't broke it yet. <laughs> but it's really twisted. I've never done modifications. I've never uh, tried to take a sticker off something and put it back on. But the video looked pretty easy. It didn't look too difficult. I'm just worried about stickers. I'm not the best at that kind of stuff. Especially putting them back on straight. Yeah, forget that. I, I might come close. But it looks like I'm going to be taking a trip to the hardware store on this one. Give me some washers and some screws and get this thing working right. I think I think it's sticking. I think that's what it is. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to mod this one. And I still have more puzzles coming in the mail. So you, you'll be uh, seeing more, uh, more videos of me real soon. Real soon. Well, all of these are pretty damn wicked. This one's a trip. <laughs> this one's wild. It's crazy. This is awesome, though. If I don't stop this video, I'm just going to keep messing with these. I'm telling you. I wonder if I can solve it now without having to uh, go through the process of completely scrambling it. Well, I, I want to mess with this later. Well, that, that's been pretty fun. So uh, that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching.